Hey there, it's Pete over at The Samplist, and today we are continuing our Spotlight series with Spitfire Audio. Spitfire Audio are in the middle of their spring sale with all instruments at 40% off and some even bigger savings with some special bundles. And for the first time ever, the original series is included in the sale. The sale runs until May the 4th and what I really wanted to do was show off some of my favourite Spitfire libraries and some highlights from the sale. So these are not only libraries that I think sound incredible but these are libraries that I've used time and time again be it for publishers, for library music or for customers. What I'm going to do in this video is go through my favorite picks as it were and then for the first time ever just going to give live composing a go just so we can see in a short composition how these libraries would work together so let's jump in anything could happen and yeah let's go for it before we start this Spitfire Audio Spotlight video, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Spitfire Audio for their continued support with our channel. And I think on this occasion, it's really important to point out that these are libraries that I've purchased over my composing career and ones that I've used for all manner of uh, production music and customs. And Spitfire Audio has always been at the very core of my sound. So these choices are not only libraries that I think sound incredible, but they are libraries that I've used time and time again. So the first one is the Olafur Composer Toolkit. And straight out the box, the felt grand piano sounds incredible. Now, I love the sound of this piano. It's very, very cinematic, but it's also very, very intimate at the same time. And we've got all of these different mixes that you can use. And when I started buying libraries, because this was one of the first ones, I remember I bought it on Piano Day, maybe 2018. And I thought it was just a piano, because it says piano. Um, and it's Piano Day. And then, of course, it's a composer toolkit. So within the composer toolkit section, you get lots of different process sounds. Now, I have got complete control um, previews on. And this is one of the libraries that was released. And it did work with the um, full contact. And then Spitfire Audio did upgrade it to make it NKS, which was brilliant because I love using NKS. But I'll play a few of these previews. <laughs> some very cool instruments there and then of course the sonic raps so i'm gonna load up the jarring music box So it's quite an ominous sound, but then we could load up longing pad, for example. So we've got pad sounds and there's lots going on within this library. And that's what I absolutely love about it. Just some really, really 
really cool sounds. So the core of it is the felt piano. And like I say, it is stunning. I do love the higher registers. does sound gorgeous and it does have um my favorite kalimba well, i say favorite it's, it's very convenient because it's in the library but i love doubling using the kalimba part Yeah, um, fairly quiet there, but it's it's perfect just for adding a kind of haunting quality to what you're doing. So that's a really, really quick look at the felt uh, piano. Just going to turn off the preview and reload it. So that's my first choice. My next choice is BT Phobos, and the reason is it is incredibly cinematic. And of course, it is a convolution synth. But there's something charming about the sound design within this one. And it's one of the earliest instruments I bought. So I spent a lot of time exploring it, playing through the presets and learning how to program it. And yeah, just what you can get out of it is incredible. So for example, we've got this absolutely lovely pad. Gorgeous sounds. If I just move, let's say, just two um, presets this way, we've now got this. And I love all of the rhythmical aspects of this instrument. So if I go into the BT patches, for example, and just go for dark propulsion, we get rhythms like this. And of course, everything syncs in your DAW, um, but I use these for sort of tension music, Scandi Noir, uh, whatever you really, really fancy. And then we've got some, um, let's go for some convolution synth uh, from the Christian Hansen patches. So only major keys welcome. <laughs> It is beautiful. I move over. Uh, what's that one called? Uh, pad for playing slowly in airports. Stunning. Um, we we'll pop in some of Paul's uh, hybrid melodic rhythmic on the chops. Very nice. Um, harmonica melodic. completely different isn't it so something good on and then of course we've got uh, presets from bt and richard divine as well uh or divine divine yeah vex mirror beautiful 
and um, some Spitfire audio themselves. Um, just go for hybrid, hi- hybrid, hybrid uh, insects. <laughs> Superb. And of course, there are tons of controls that you can play around with. And it's got this really, really cool sort of triple uh, triangle situation going on in the minute. Anyway, not going to go on too much more, but BT Phobos. Stunning. And then the next instrument is uh, Hans Zimmer Strings. And Hans Zimmer Strings I bought at the same time as making the jump and buying the entire symphonic range. And while the symphonic range is very, very detailed and just my, my go-to strings at the moment, especially for really, really big productions. The Hans Zimmer strings are just, they're almost like a big cinematic smudge and combining the two together, they sound incredible. So when I say smudge, they, they're still very, very detailed and very, very playable, but I just love this sound. So if I was play one-handed and use the mod wheel, They sound gorgeous. And I'm just playing the cellos here. So we've got the Sol Palm. And then the long Super Sol Palm. They're super delicate and long super flautando. And then I'm a sucker for harmonics. Stunning. And then Tremolo. There's Tremolo waves, as it were. It's an incredible instrument, and at 40% off at the moment, um, yeah, they sound great. Like the epic strings. Um, we've got some shorts. <laughs> Incredible. Bartok Pizzicato, my all-time favourite. I absolutely love them. And of course you've got the entire section. So the, um, let's play some violins. Scandi violins. And I just love the way they're all sort of categorised. Uh, just within the Spitfire player themselves. You don't have to load them in complete control, I just do. Um, you've even got some string effects. Very, very cool. And some chatter. A 
but as a string library in its core, I just think they are incredible. And again, it's another library that Spitfire did update as well. I think it's another 60 gigabytes of content a while ago. But you get your violins, um, cellos, basses, and then uh, everything in the gallery as well. So, and violas, of course. Never forget the violas. It's it's just a really, really well thought out library. So we have that, and then we've got symphonic organ. Now, I use organs a lot. Got to be tempted not to play that. Obviously. But this is an incredible organ. And let's just play a bit higher up. Yeah. Um And the thing I love about it, this is the full congregation, but you've got lots and lots again of warps. <laughs> using the eDNA engine. That's some very really cool sounds. Absolutely love them. Um, Sepultura. Great band. But it's really, really detailed in terms of uh, ev everything. Uh, everything is sort of categorized. So if you've got the core patches. And I use these to sort of delicately double string parts. Um, you can get that amazing Hans Zimmer interstellar type sound going on in your arrangements. Um, but of course, you can have a real full-on symphonic organ as well if you want to use it. And I do use the uh, other organ um, recorded in rugby. I, I can't remember the name of it now. Um, the all... Oh, no. It's gone. Um, so both organs are great, but I find the symphonic organ is more um, cinematic. And then the other organ uh, just has more upfront power, as it were. So if you're using the symphonic organ in arrangements uh, and full orchestras, it's absolutely perfect. Um, I don't understand why I can't remember that other organ. So it's here somewhere. Anyway, I'm cycling through my complete control there. Um, yeah. I remember the other organ is not NKS. So, yeah. Anyway, the organ, amazing. And then we've got Albion 5 Tundra, which is uh, sampled at the edge of silence, as it were. And this is more of your sort of fragile, delicate um, orchestra. So I've loaded up the string patch. And these are more ensembles, so these are strings high, and they're the flau uh, flautando console. And it really got me into flautando, um, have to admit. And having flautando console legato. very very cool um but of course it's a full orchestra as well so uh for example if you want some actually i'll play something a bit different um some finger trill brass you 
you don't get these sounds anywhere else. Mini crescendo. So the brass is really, really cool. Um, I'm using the word cool a lot in this video. Uh, fits. And then, of course, uh, we've got the strings and we have the woodwinds as well. I've gone for mini crescendo again. Pulsing semi crescendo. So yeah, it's um again you can hear that that room sound. lovely sounds and I find this incredibly creative but of course that is just the orchestra um you got the uh, Brunel loops so let's just go for assorted metal so different loops and bells Funny goings on. It's quite quiet there. Um, and then you got the Darwin percussion. And Stevenson Steam Band. going on. And then got the viral grid as well with lots of evolutions. So loads going on there, 32 different evolutions. I'll just play a later one. You get the idea. And then uh, that is that covers Albion 5. So again, it's very, very brief. I, I, you know, you can spend hours and hours and hours and hours and days going through Albion 5, which I have done. And... I've got to give a shout out to the originals because they are use not not you sorry that for the first time they're in the sale and if you like the sound of tundra strings cinematic foes and strings actually really captures that sound as well so I've loaded up the long flautando Thank you. 
which do sound gorgeous. If I just go for the um, just the standard longs, where are we? Um, no raisin. That sounds really, really cool. Uh, again, got to stop using that word today. Let's uh, go, Soltasto to Flautande. They're just strings that are very, very full of character. Then we've got Hammers, uh, really excited. I think it was a case of guess the video, whose studio is this? And it's Charlie Clouser's and Hammers is incredible. And Hammers contains um, bass drums, surdos, toms, writer toms, frame drums, snare drums, darbukas and scrap metal. And again, you've, you've got loops, and loops are really, really useful. Don't get me wrong. When you start using the warps, you start getting to that really, really cool sound design territory. So some really, really fun sounds to be used. And of course, you can change the loop and the tempo. And these do tempo sync to your DAW. But, whoops, I'm on warps. Got some pretty serious bass drums going on there. Um, if I just take off warps, go straight into ensembles. So you can hear different types of instruments. Now I've got to remember to let the plugin load the instruments. So it contains a lot. I'm just going to go back to my loops and um, I love the Surdo loops. And what I tend to do just in the controls, um, I like bringing the reverb up and the low pass filter. I'm just making a really, really cool percussive bed. And then my last highlight is Orchestral Swarm. And you've got all these amazing swarms. Um, which do sound incredible. It's got some brass, some bones and tuba. Swarm. I 
They sound great. So to add colour and a bit of depth to your performances or composition, sorry, these work amazingly well. So these are libraries that I've used a lot of. And of course, I've only played a couple of examples. Um, I really recommend going over to the product page and really checking them out if they're the kind of things that you're looking for. And what I'm going to do now is just try and compose a piece of music um, just using these libraries getting a couple of sounds, put them together and see what it sounds like. So anything could happen, as I keep saying. Let's go for it. Right, let's start off with some Olifer Felt Piano. stop there now it's one note that i didn't particularly like but like i say this is just a really quick composition um might be there yeah this note here Now, um, if I was going to the MIDI, I never ever particularly quantize, but the way I set up for recording is um, there's a little bit of latency, so I'm using the, just undo that, um, soft quantize is set to about 80, no, 60%, that's what I tend to use it on. And I've just sort of nudged everything, but it's still not quite on the grid, but works quite well. Now, let's just add uh, a BT Phobos pad. So, probably not um, insects. We'll go all drone. And let's play quite low. Um, I'm just going to move this over by two bars. very very subtle in the background and again let's go do that now um, if we go for let's say symphonic organ and I'm gonna go for a warp actually no it's not quite what I want uh, let's go something that sounds angelic ah Ignore that. Uh, I'm on a new uh, computer build and I've not got everything completely sorted. 
Oh. Well. That does tell me, when I talked about the previous uh, organ, it wasn't recorded at rugby. Here we go. Right then. So that's got quite a long release, hasn't it? Quite a long one. Um, let's go for something different. I feel like... No, I thought my sustain pedal was stuck, but it isn't. Um, let's go for something else. Stop it there. Now I forgot to press record, so I'm just gonna do that on Cubase. And now we have our symphonic organ. Now the, the release is quite long. Um so all I'm gonna do is something like that. It should work. And then hammers. Turn that down to minus five. And I do want even more reverb going on. Let's bring that down even more. Does the job for me. Um, let's turn that off, do that, and do that. I'm trying to limit my key presses um, on account of my clicky keyboard, but I'm going to have to at this point. So we're going to just duplicate this up until the end, and uh, so this goes there. We're going to automate a fade out. Beautiful. Let's go over there actually. I'm trying to work out where this all finishes. Um, go over there. 
Right then, so we've got a couple of ideas going on. So let's add, uh, ooh, let's do Hans Zimmer strings. Now, I might just add a couple um, of different ones, uh, duplicate a few channels, but we're gonna start off with some harmonics. Beautiful. keep those as they are. Um, my chair's very creaky today as well. So I've put minus 90 milliseconds on the harmonics uh, just in case and duplicate track. They're of course going to go to the left. I do like to pan as we go. Um, what's Fable's doing? It's more of a pad kind of drone. Let's go 15. Keep that in the middle. So I like sort of doing this as I go through. Um, oh no. No, no. Okay, so we've got a little bit going on. Now we're gonna add some uh, cello. Uh, soft longs. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna do the um, just standard longs, I think. Okay, so really simple. Sounds alright. Uh, let's actually change those to the soft long articulation. since I started that, but we get the idea. Um, and let's just throw on, same from Tundra, let's go for a, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, the orchestra, we do some nice frozen strings as well. They're on short, so I've laid the shorts, haven't I? Yeah, let's do longs. Um, let's throw some longs. Not yet. Don't like that too much at the minute because I'm not playing high enough. Let's go again.
beautiful. And I love how that uh, warp from the organ just keeps going. Lovely. Okay, and on the strings here, um, let's go some, just something short. Short, short, short. Might be too overpowering. Maybe not there, but I do like that. So we're going to keep the uh, the Bartok. Just going to rename it. Um, maybe in this section now. And again, this is just you know a bit of fun playing around. So I'm going to duplicate Phobos because I would like to use a rhythm, which I don't think is too much to ask. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Um, and this is the thing, you can spend a very, very long time going through these rhythms. I'm going to use that. So, yeah, that's what I want. Just going to move that over. What bar are we going to? I'm actually going to end it on bar 36. Where is it? There we go. Bar 36. And I just want to end it on the beat. So go slightly over. And let's put a let's put a swarm in on the old mod wheel. So that's an A. Um, very delicate. Probably a little bit too quiet. So let's just turn it up in contact. Lovely. And I think those um gonna Yeah. Could it or did those just uh, duplicate and shift up an octave? a bit more depth. Love it. Now, um, we're nearly there, believe it or not. It's just a very, very simple, straightforward piece of music. So let's go Bartok. Now I'm gonna bring these down a bit more. Adds a little bit of rhythm to what we're doing. Um, 
So very, very useful. It's sort of gone a little bit delicate, this has. But again, I always like using really, really simple chord progressions of the harmony, etc. So that, that really does fit into that, I guess. And we've got cinematic frozen strings. Yeah, they sound great. Um, I'm just going to change the release. I believe you can go a bit more of a long, longer release. So again, this is just to add texture. <laughs> going to quantize they got quite a good attack quite a nice sort of uh, instant response as it were and again just going to um, automate something at the end normally I spend ages cleaning up my endings but um, probably won't have time on this. And then we've got this, uh, we've got these going on. So. There is. Move them up an octave. Of course, the high E is too high. So we go down. I do apologise, I was just summoned to the studio door. Um, where were we? So the Hans Zimmer strings were on the cellos as well. I just want to sort of fatten this cello part out, I think. No, I don't. I want to harmonic this cello part. Get a bit more range. So here we go. I want to say cello. It's not a cello, it's a violin, isn't it? And we have noticed here, I say we, I mean me. Too much sustain going on on the piano part. Lovely. And there's just a little sort of bubble where I was a little bit overzealous with um, my modulation at the very start of this section. So I'm just going to bring all these down. Okay. 
and I love that that warp. I kind of purposely left this bit so on bar 26 it doesn't really hit too much because I'm going to use a percussion swarm again. <laughs> And I didn't do that too well. Not gonna lie. Um, I've got all these set up as shortcuts, by the way. But again, I'm trying to limit um, how much that I use my controller. Something like that will work. I'll say controller, my keyboard. Pretty good. Um, no. Lovely. So it's all sounding very pretty. Um, I'm just going to do one more thing. I'll just get the old kalimba out. Uh, it's in the Compose Toolkit, isn't it? And I don't know why I try. I wasn't even close to that note. So, yeah. Good. Um, I was going to add some third party reverb um five filter pro art is my general go-to um and normally i'll do this on a, on a send but just now i'm sorry as like a yeah <laughs> i know what i'm trying to say but i'm seeing it on the track at the moment I love the frozen aspect of this. So, um, I feel like I'm having one of those days. So, bar 26. So, the velocity is quite low. I'm actually going to bring that up slightly. And we've got that A. But I do need to turn that up a little bit. And one thing you do find with the Spitfire instruments, the more you use them, you'll get to know which ones are quieter. And which ones are louder. Ah, of course, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Nope. There we go. Right then, so we're going to add uh, the kalimba. I'm going to punctuate it at bar 26. And that's going to fade out beautifully. Um, just going to put some negative delay on that as well. Normally, I wouldn't have to do this too much because I have um, a lower buffer rate. Well, that's not very good, is it? Uh, bit ahead there. So let's 
just uh it's fine gonna quantize those two that isn't bad but there's uh I'm actually gonna turn them down not that much oh we've done it again Da, 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 da. Right, um. Well, sounds pretty beautiful. So, what I'm going to do is just play it from start to finish. And obviously, you tweak as you go. Um, but this has been a, a 45 minute compo. Yeah, I can't speak. Composing thing. And there we go. What I actually will do is I'm going to uh, pop on my master chain and then I'm going to play it in context. And there we have it, from start to finish, 45 minutes to compose and layer the instruments, and then another couple of minutes just to mix and a few tweaks. And yes, there are some tweaks I do at the end, and possibly um, checking some automation and some of the uh, MIDI writing, but it, it's virtually there. And it's the kind of piece that, give me an hour, and I'll convert it into a full piece of music that can be used for some underscore somewhere. So, really, really great tools to use. And this is why these are my spring sale highlights from Spitfire Audio. I just love these instruments. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave a comment on the video. Maybe you like the fact that we're showing the composing process because obviously we do make a track for the majority of our videos. So maybe you want to see more of that. Uh, maybe there's something else about the video or the instruments presented that you like and maybe it's just general spitfire chit chat who knows and of course if you like the content do leave a like on our video and then check out our other videos if you have the time and if you've not done so already please subscribe to our channel until next time have a great day keep making that music and i really hope you enjoy the remainder of the spitfire sale